So this is what turbo vanes look like. When you hear the term turbo vanes, you wonder what those things actually look like. I'm gonna take a turbo apart, show you what the vanes are, show you what can happen if you don't do proper maintenance on your vehicle and some of the things that will kill one of these high dollar turbos. So let's get this thing apart. So how this turbo works is this actuator will move this little pin right here, roll it forward and backwards, and these veins have a notch that is in this plate. So as this plate spins, it'll essentially move all these veins into a closed position like this or a wide open position. So if you need a quick turbo spool, the narrower the angle, the faster it's gonna get going. Then as you want that to go faster, once you've started getting the rotation you need, these veins will move towards the inward position. And that's gonna be your top speed on the turbo. Then when you go into an exhaust brake position, these things are gonna close and that's what's creating the back pressure on your exhaust brake. So you can have an issue with this actuator go bad. You can get buildup inside here that actually causes these things to stick. Now in the newer trucks, 2017 and newer, there were a few year models where we had some actuator issues. As far as the veins freezing up, wasn't a common issue on some of the older trucks. The 11 to 2016 models, we would see more trucks come in where these veins would be sticking in their position. And people would say, well, can't you just open it up and clean it? You sure can to an extent. Depending on what kind of job it is, under Ford warranty, they don't have a cleaning procedure. If you have have an issue they just want you to replace it if you're doing this at home it's definitely something you can do if you can get this housing apart without it breaking i tried several times with a chisel to get it open it took a pretty good beating with the mallet to get this thing off so you do run the risk of cracking that housing but now when someone mentions something about the turbo veins or you want to know how your exhaust brake works you'll know exactly what these things look like it's like a little flower petal and you just picture that bicycle tire as a kid and you're spraying the water hose and you move the water hose further in faster that thing will go so it's changing the direction of the air as it hits this wheel 